Alright, hey guys, PC Addict 365 here with you again. Um, today we're going to be looking at the PDF files in the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Um, basically just a general view of what they look like, um, how they scroll, how they react and respond. So I'm going to go here, go to my files, then I'm going to go to books. And we have Maximum PC, which I'll open with Polaris Office. And then hopefully you guys can see, but here you go. Here's your PDF. So I'll give you guys a close-up view in just a minute here and show you what it looks like. So from what I'm seeing so far, the screen, the display looks really good. Um, pretty responsive. You can scroll up and down this way, or you can use a little arrow button over here and scroll that way to the next page, next page, whatnot. So, all right, I'll give you guys a close-up view in just a second here. One, the first thing I want to point out is all these touch screens. Pretty much, once you use them for a while, if you don't use a stylus, um, they get a lot of fingerprints on them, and you'll be cleaning them uh, pretty often. So, the nice thing with the Galaxy Note. 10.1 is that it does come with a stylus. You don't have to get the screen so dirty. But anyway, when the screen is on, you can't notice the fingerprints. So that's nice. Um, so from now on, I'm pretty much going to use a stylus for running it and operating it. Uh, first thing I notice here is the screen actually looks really nice when viewing PDFs here. Um, you can read all the text really easy, you know. And if you can't, if it's a little too small, um, the only thing is it'd be kind of nice to have like stylus that you could use almost like two fingers. Otherwise, you're back to basically touching it to zoom in and read the smaller text. So pretty much no matter what, you'll be getting fingerprints on these things. But when the screen is on, you can still see it just fine. The uh, fingerprints don't really show through. So, but it is very responsive as you can tell but part of that is probably because this has a uh, quad core processor built into it um, you can scroll like this not sure if you can double tap or anything I don't think so and search for stuff here um, yeah but well, you want to zoom in Zoom in like that. And you can just read the article, whatever. And then scroll down to the next one. Or if you want, you can uh, you can also touch these arrows and go to the next page that way. So definitely pretty easy. I actually like probably read magazines better on here than I do on the on my actual uh, PC and stuff. So it's easier to read on here for me anyway. But yeah, so that's a look at uh, PDF files. Hey, there you go. You can click up here in the corner and then zoom. So if you want to zoom, just go up here, go to zoom. It'll bring up your little side zoom bar. So a lot of the clarity on the magazines also depends on um, how clear and how good a resolution the magazine was. Like when you got it off the internet or wherever you got it from off your computer. So I'll zoom in again here just so you guys can see. Like this is zoomed in 245% so that's probably a little bit much. Zoom back out here. Right about there is good. See, so now I mean you can read the words plenty good. Um, of course, on video it won't show up as clear as what it is in person, but it still looks nice. So. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Just giving you guys a look at it. That way. Uh, you have a little better idea if you want to buy one or not or whatever so 
Alright, talk to you later. PC Addict 365 here. Uh, check out my other videos, my other channel, Temptation 2003. I got uh, a bunch of different videos on that channel too. So, alright, we'll see you guys later.